Let's look at the world map. Maybe there's somewhere we can use the cloak. We've been to all the places we can go to. Mm, no. I don't think there's anywhere we can use the cloak. It's gotta be this town. Which means it's gotta be the dog. How do I use it on the dog? Can't be used here. Alright, let's just do this. Echo, you looked it up. Am I wasting my time with the dog, or am I on the right track? Because <laughs> I feel like it would be the dog. But if I'm just wasting my time, I don't want to make you guys sit here while I try and fumble with the stupid dog. Maybe I have to take the dog... Can I... <laughs> here, can you break a curse? No, I had to get the mirror. It can't be that. I'm missing something obvious here. No one else mentions the dog. I'm trying to figure if it matters where I'm standing. <sighs> you looked up the card, not the dog. Oh, the loyalty card. Okay. Well, fair enough. You can tell me what the loyalty card. What is the loyalty? Is is it part of the story or is it just like an item that does something? I thought you looked up the princess because <laughs> that's the part that I'm stuck on. Wasn't even thinking about the. I can't stand beside it and open my menu. Oh, I can. There's a button I can hit to open the menu without talking. I did not realize that. <laughs> All right, now I'm standing beside it. Can I use the mirror? Oh my God. It gives you a discount like at all the stores or something? Cause that'd be huge. That would make it definitely the best item. A beautiful princess can be seen in the reflection. The mirror shatters into a thousand tiny fragments. And with that, the curse upon the princess is lifted. I feel like the thing that they added to make it easier to talk to people with the little exclamation point thing and everything made that harder to use the mirror. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. It was the dog. Tis a relief indeed to be returned to my own dear body. I had feared that I might be cursed to bark and beg forever. Well met, savior mine, I am Eileen, Princess of Moonbrook. As I suspect thou art already aware, the castle of my home was laid waste by the minions of Fal Hargon. T'was those brutes who did transform me into a common mongrel and banish me here. But what is such humiliation compared to my people's suffering? I must not dwell upon. Pity, profiteth them not. Come, let us join forces that we may vanquish our common enemy as one. We have the full party, guys. Now watch, she's going to be level one, isn't she? She is level one. Oh my god. Alright. Eileen, level one. She has 22 agility at level one. That seems... Okay, we have 33 and 30. Maybe that's not crazy. 
She has 32 HP and 28 MP at level 1. And 12 defense. What's she wearing? She just has plain clothes on. You go, girl. <laughs> Alright, she has mid-heal. Okay, I take it all back. She's the healer. <laughs> Sigurd, you need to get some better spells, bud. <laughs> Alright, so mid-heal has entered the party. That is a much, much bigger heal. 85 to 100 versus 25 to 30. So Eileen is our healer. Sigurd is sort of like a red mage, I guess. And Guild is just a straight fighter. Um, We got a Tombola ticket, don't we? Let's go ahead and get it out of our inventory by using it. See if we can't get another prayer ring, maybe. Alright, so for the prayer ring, we need the star. Boom. Alright. Ah. No, no luck. All right. Now let me check the. Let me get the loyalty rank, loyalty ticket back out of here and see if the prices at the store are actually lower. So we withdraw money. We can outfit the princess. We're gonna withdraw some items. That loyalty card. Alright. And let's see if we can get her some better equipment. Alright, so she can't use the sickle. She can't use the lance. We for I forgot we could get a lance for Sigurd, actually. She can't use any of it. She cannot use a single one of these items. All right. Let's get Sigurd the Iron Lance. That's a fairly good five five attack upgrade for him. Because she can't use... The, um sickle we can go ahead and sell that I should check and see if she can use the club what does she got right now just a stick she cannot even equip the club all right check this out too while we're buying the prices haven't changed so I'm not sure how to use the loyalty card but that's okay let's go ahead and clear out these low-level um, weapons from our inventories getting them as drops and we don't need them that prayer ring is worth a lot that's because it's good let's um Let's give the prayer ring to our healer. Um, can she equip it? I mean, I know you can just kind of use it as an item to get MP back, right? Yeah, it's not really an accessory. All right. Um. I think she can probably wield this dagger there, right? Yeah, that's a big upgrade for her. Let's grab her a divine dagger. Ah, here we go. When you buy something. As thou art in possession of a loyalty card, I have deducted the sum of 50 gold from thy bill. That's 25% off. That's pretty cool. So it doesn't show you it right away. It's when you actually buy it that it deducts it from the price. All right. Um. 
She could use some better equipment, but <laughs> Divine Dagger in plain clothes. Oof. Let's keep her in the back. Like, I've got 56 defense. He has 32. She only has 12. <laughs> I mean, I know she's level 1, but also it's just the lack of equipment. Let's save the game. And I think before we head off anywhere, our first course of action has to be leveling her up a bit. We can't go off in quest with a level one princess in the party here. Okay. Okay, the Sizz might just straight up kill her. No, okay, good. <laughs> Stop with the Sizzin. Oh my god, this health situation. Um. I should probably just have her defend. See, yeah, she's not doing any damage. Just to make sure yet, all she has is mid heal. I see she lo she should level on the next one. Sap. Jack mages can kissap. It's a good thing we've been stopping them from casting all this time. Kissap lowers your the defense of the entire party. Alright, level two. Four agility, two resilience, and snooze. Alright. And an open club. Alright. So far, so good. I wonder if there's anywhere we could get her some better equipment that she could actually wear. Possibly not yet. It's nice to have the whole party together. It's interesting how all the party members are off on the left side. There's still a lot of room on the right side, right? Like, it makes me feel like we're going to end up with more party members, but I know that that's the whole party. That's just the way they lined it up up there.
Alright, level three. Three agility, one resilience. So she's very agile. He's not getting hardly any HP though. Let's go down here and fight some stronger. These enemies give a lot more XP. We just need her to live through it. We don't need her to actually contribute. The other guys can easily fight this stuff by themselves. So just have her defend and just absorb the XP as it flows in, you yeah? know? We're actually getting less XP, I think, because it's dividing it among the three party members. Oof. These guys with their sizz that hits the whole party is annoying. Speaking of a gust of wind taking her out, as a cleric in a Dragon Quest game, she might get some wind spells. I don't know. Could be helpful. She's not doing any damage with that dagger of hers. Wait, let me let her, let her attack real quick, see what she does. Oh, she's not going to get her in this time, but we'll see. level down here for a minute we'll let her attack see what she does four damage to a somnolent oof like three turns but she did kill one all right level four one strength two agility two resilience is getting that agility and resilience pretty well not so much hp and there's whoosh nice Slices through the enemy with a small whirlwind. Let's see what she does with this. It hits the whole group. That's more like it. So she can do good damage now. <laughs> Uses MP, but still. better XP down here. That's not her though, is it? Yeah, Gilded. Level 17. Two Strength, one Agility, one Resilience, three more HP. Nice, nice. We should be able to get through here now that we have the Princess. Yeah, look at him moved out of the way. Lo, the one true goddess stuff, the faithful reward. Alright, cool. What was that? You don't have the right key. I can't tell what kind of door it is, but apparently it's not a silver one. Wouldn't even have known there was a door there if it wasn't for the exclamation mark. Alright. Looks like there might be something directly to the south of us. Let's check that out. Is there a break? There's not actually a break in those mountains. It looked like there was on the map. Look, they, they drew a line through the mountains. It looks like the like the forest connects through the mountains, but it doesn't. So I guess we need to head northwest. Oh, and you look. You see those two dots on either side of the water to the northwest? I'm betting those are towers 
that we can jump off of with our windbreaker. Like, um... Right here. These two dots. So I think we, we need to head up here and then use our windbreaker there to get to that island. That That's probably where we have to go next. Just because we just got the windbreaker, we're going to put it to good use. Doesn't look like we can get to this head south here at all. So let's head up here. Let's see what kind of fights we're going to run into here. We could always, um... Okay, bad boons. They're going to hit like a truck. Eileen needs to watch her butt. Dirty rats are nasty too. Alright, let's take out the dirty rat. Let's actually have her cast whoosh. If she dies, she dies. Hopefully they won't attack her. Because that does good damage. Yeah. 35 damage? That's really good damage. Gotta watch her MP though. Although, Sigurd can still heal. Alright, Killipedes. And Smog. Bet you Smog doesn't do well with a good whoosh. Ooh, Sigurd with the miss. Then not affected, but 27 on the last one. Okay. Fizzle. Killipede hits hard on Eileen. Alright, so let's take out the Killipede. Eileen, just defend yourself. Alright. No level yet. Sigurd, still doing okay on the MP. Go ahead and throw a heal on Gilded too. Alright. Keep moving towards that tower. Some dirty rats. They're all in one group, which sounds like good whooshness. Let's whoosh the hell out of this, huh? Just don't hit Eileen. Oh, 13 damage. Yeah, they they hit hard. So does she. 17, 15, 32. Yeah, she does the most damage right now. She's just squishy. And she can only do it while well, she has MP. How do you restore MP in this game? Um, a couple ways. Um, one, that prayer ring I got. I can use the prayer ring and it'll restore some MP, but it has a chance to break every time I use it. Um, two, I could go stay at an inn. And heal back up to max HP and MP. Or three, I could die. And when I resurrect them at the church, that gives me back all my HP and MP. <laughs> um, but the end is the main way. Yeah. Okay, new enemies. Ooh, Kassap, too. That's really bad. That's really bad. Double Kassap. Everyone's going to take lots of damage now. Okay. Trying to put us to sleep, too. Bad to worse. Alright, let's take out these. Eileen, we're just gonna risk... We're gonna risk it. We're gonna go with the Drac Mage. Try and whoosh them out. We gotta get these things down. Beautiful. Yeah, good. He's still going for the... Uh... Oh, he puts all three to sleep, though. Okay, attack gilded. Good. Done. Alright. That was close. Here's another level. Level 5. 5 more agility. She is super agile. 1 resilience. She's, she's making up for her lack of being able to wear armor with agility and resilience. Which I appreciate. Like, at this point... I've got 22, he's got 17, she already has 16 and she's only level 5 on the resilience. She's almost caught up with Sigurd. Now defense wise she only has 18, whereas he has 33 and I've got 57. So she's still taking way too much damage and she's not getting really any HP either. 
but her agility is 36, which is already more than the other two, and they're 10 levels higher than her. But she's super agile, which I'm hoping is going to make her dodge better, basically. She can only whoosh one more time. We may just have to, um, oof. We may just have to fly back home and uh, try again. Just because we we're, we're just have to level her. Alright, just get the bad boon. He hits really hard. Eileen, use your last whoosh on these plants. Great damage. Didn't finish them off. But they're all one hit away from dying now. Don't. Okay, put her to sleep. That's fine. Okay. Yep. That should be it. Okay. Still fine. I'm hoping that I can get to a town up here is what I'm hoping for. I don't know how hard this tower is or if it's just a walk up the tower and jump over kind of thing. Hast thou heard? No. But I shall tell thee. These two spires are known as the Dragon's Horns. In ancient times, the twain were joined by a great bridge. But alas, they stand now divorced from one another, as thou seest with no means to span the gulf in sight. Well, you say that. But have I got a secret for you? Okay, we're going to have to fight our way to the top, it looks like, maybe. Are there fights in here? Maybe not? Don't make us do a lot of walking. Yeah, okay. Alright, bad boons. And she just needs to defend every turn from now on. She has no MP. She's not doing anything in the fight. Her job is to take as little damage as possible at this point. She can't defend when she's the only player. Like, it becomes, the option becomes, she didn't have the option to defend. That was interesting. I guess the other two were asleep. I don't know. Is turn order random or determined by something else? Uh, it might be agility. Like, you choose all the actions for the turn and then their, their moves go off. It might be determined by agility. Oh, geez, I just jumped down the middle. Um, in fact, that's that's what I would guess. Probably, it's probably somewhat random and determined by agility. But that's just a guess. I I don't I don't know. Defend. Should have healed Sigurd. Okay, they attack Gilded. That's good. Ah, they killed Sigurd. Oh man, he's the person who could cast Zoom too. Did we? I didn't buy a Chimera Wing, did I? I am making mistakes at this point. <laughs> I have no way to heal. I have no way to Zoom. What do we do? We run. We, we hope that we can get back somehow. Never go this far without a Chimera Wing. <laughs> oh, man. Mm. Like, if we could get across there, that's probably a town just to the north of the other tower. But I don't know how many floors I have to fight up. But then I also don't know if I can make it back. This is a rough spot at this point. On um, the good news is, worst case scenario, we lose like 2,000 gold. If everybody dies, we lose half our money. It's not that big a deal. But let's go for it. Flee. That, that's our basic strategy right now. Yeah. 
I think we're gonna end up dying. It's gonna be a rough way to end out the night, guys. <laughs> but you know what? That's okay. We got a lot done today. We um we got the whole party together, which was the goal for the night. So tomorrow we're gonna get back to Persona One. Um, all kinds of stuff going on there. We we've got a, a we're in an alternate world now with a school full of demons that are attacking us at the behest of some little girl in black that we got to find out about. Anyways, let's pick ourselves up. Go forth and do not show thy face here again, save with tidings of thy victory. Wow, man. I just died. You're being rough on me. Resurrection. Resurrection's pretty cheap in this game. But yeah, we lost like 2,000 gold to dying. That's not really that big a deal at this point. We get 2,000 gold all the time. Um, The good news is we keep all the items and the XP we got. The only penalty is losing the gold. The XP is worth a lot more. Alright. Um, I gave them back their MP too, so we're pretty much good to go again. I'm going to save the game having resurrected everybody, and we're going to call it a night. Tomorrow we'll get back to uh, Persona 1. Um... Thursday, we will be back at this game again. So come by for that. And Friday, we'll be back on Final Fantasy 1. We are still working through the in game bonus dungeons. We've got a lot of them to get through. I'm hoping to try and get through all of them on Friday, though. So that'll be good. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.